Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975, and today we're going to be looking at a couple more movie cars in GTA Online. Now, we've done quite a few of these series so far. I've actually made a playlist, which I'll link in the description below, for all the different franchises and TV series that we have covered. Uh, but today we're going to be covering some classic TV shows and movies, so there's no one specific franchise today it's going to be a number of different uh, vehicles but these are all from classic tv shows and classic movies so let's just get straight into it so the first car we're looking at today is the italian job lamborghini mura this is the car is at the very start of the italian job film um i don't really know why they crash it into a bulldozer but they do so I thought it was quite funny and I decided to uh, do that myself used the Pegasi Monroe for this one and all you have to do is paint it orange the second car we're looking at is Christine this is a Plymouth Fury now I've used the um, Tornado for this one technically the Tornado is based off a Bel Air Chevy Bel Air and Christine is a Plymouth Fury, but it's the closest vehicle we have in GT Online, and you can get it to look quite similar, so that is why I've gone for that one. Next, we have Speed Racer, and for this one, I have used the Scramjet, and you can get this one to look pretty similar as well. Obviously, painted it white, gone for the red livery and the blue wheels. Then the next one, we're looking at sort of three cars, but obviously from the same movie, and it's the Italian Job Minis, the red, white, and blue classic minis. Now, apologies for the GTA picture there. Um, it's not the best quality. Obviously, you can't spawn in more than one car in GTA Online, so I had to use some mods on my PC, and my PC is not the most powerful uh, PC in the world so I couldn't get the best image for this but I wanted to try and get all three minis together to try and match the real picture there so you can see quite clearly obviously you can go for uh, red white or blue it's quite cool if you've got two friends and you could all turn up at Kami in a different color and then gone for the Tura lights and there's not really much you have to do with these Next we have the Back to the Future DeLorean, use the Deluxo for this one. Now we can't get all the tubing and um, the Mr. Fusion on the back or anything like that, but obviously the Deluxo has the hover abilities and we know it's all based off the Back to the Future DeLorean. So if you're having a car meet then most people will know what this one is. Then we have the classic Batmobile, so not the Tumbler. This is from the original Batman TV series. And for this one, obviously, you use the Vigilante. It's nearly a direct copy of the Batmobile. And um, not much, well, not anything you have to do this, in fact. Just buy the Batmobile, or the Vigilante, sorry, and paint it black. Then we have the Lamborghini Countach. This comes from the Cannonball Run, but it's also from the Cannonball Run 2 and also Speed Zone, which is technically Cannonball Run 3. Um, just gone for the Torero with this one, Gassy Torero, painted it orange, uh, gone for the spoiler, and obviously it has the pop up headlights already. Next, we have the Ferrari Tessarossa from Miami Vice. This is Sonny Crockett's Tessarossa. Um, painted this one white, and for this one, I've used the Cheetah Classic. And um, not really much you have to do with this one. I've kept the stock wheels and painted it white. Then we have Kit from Knight Rider. And for this one, I have obviously used the Runa 2000. And uh, not much you have to do with this one either. It's already very similar to the TV show one. Uh, paint it black, and then I've gone for these uh, blacked out wheels. These are actually in the lowrider category. And apart from that, that's about it. It already has some of the features, like the turbo boost jump. So that's really cool. And um, you can obviously have the parachute as well, which was featured in one of the episodes. Then we have another uh, vehicle from the Knight Rider TV series, and this is the Hauler Custom MOC Truck Cab. 
and uh, this is actually the Goliath truck. Um, obviously, you can tell it's the same truck. It has that sort of grill bull bar thing on the front. And apart from that, there's not really much you have to do with this one. Just paint it to match and it already looks very similar. Then we have the AC Cobra. This is from the Gumball Rally movie. And I've used the Mamba Topless for this one and painted it blue. Then we have the 69 Charger General Lee from the Dukes of Hazard. Obviously, I've used the Imponte Dukes for this one. Uh, you can tell in the name there, obviously it's called the Dukes, it's from the Dukes of Hazard. And for this one, if you want to get the 01 on the side, you either have to set your crew logo to this 01 on the side, or you can do what I did, which is just join uh, crew there, and it will allow you to use the 01. And unfortunately, we can't get the Confederate flag on the roof, so I've gone for the American flag. Uh, you could also use the... Um, Great British flag which is technically similar it's the most similar to the Confederate flag but as it's an American TV show I thought the American flag was a bit more appropriate then we have the A-Team GMC Vandura a uh, really cool vehicle actually I do like this one a lot and for this one I've used the Gang Burrito and uh, not really much you have to do with this one either, as long as you paint it black and secondary colour is the stripe there and on the spoiler, make sure that's red. Then I've gone for these mercenary muscle wheels and obviously painted them red with some tyre lettering. And you can also use the Yuga Classic for this, it does have the stripe on the side of the Yuga Classic. But the Gang Burrito I have here is the most similar, it looks the most accurate. It obviously has the spoiler on the roof and also the bull bars on the front, which you can't actually get on the UV Classic. Then we have the Vanishing Point Challenger, uh, another really cool vehicle, a really cool movie as well. It's a white Challenger, 1970 Challenger. For this one, obviously, I've used the Gauntlet Classic. And all you have to do with this is change up the bonnet to match the uh, Classic Challenger bonnet. Then paint it white. Make sure you don't have a spoiler on the back. And I've kept the stock wheels. Then we have uh, the Mark on Oppressor. And this is Street Hawk. Um, so you might not have ever heard of this TV show. Um, I've never actually watched it myself, uh, but I did a little bit of research into the uh, um, series and the Street Hawk bike you can see there is supposed to be a modified pursuit bike that can do over 300 miles an hour. Obviously the Oppressor Mark 1 has the rocket boost feature so it's kind of hinting at that. Now I don't know whether the Street Hawk bike could actually glide or like fly how the Oppressor can. I tried to research this, but I couldn't find anywhere that it can. Um, like I said, I've never watched this series myself, so I don't know. So if you do know, then let me know in the comment section. Then we have the Austin Powers Shaggin Wagon. Uh, this is obviously the uh, E-Type Jaguar, and I've gone for the Ocelot Swinger with this one. Technically not based off an E-Type Jag, but you can get the livery to match and it is obviously um, in the Ocelot family, so it is based off a Jaguar and it does look kind of similar. And the very last car we have is Mr. Bean's Classic Mini and for this one I've used the Issy Classic, painted it lime green and gone for the secondary matte bonnet. It is a little bit off on the actual colour, um, but it's the closest one I could find. So if you know a better colour to match the Mr. Bean build, then please let me know in the comments down below. That is going to do it for this video though guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did find this list useful. If you're building some classic TV shows or movie cars in GT Online, or you're just trying to build up your movie car collection, then here is 17 more cars to add to your collection. That is going to do it for the video though. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.